Patrick. Uh, number nine, this one may ruin your childhood. The It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Nursery rhyme yeah. has been sung to children for generations, but the real meaning that's going viral on TikTok is fairly unsettling. Oh boy. You may remember it continues, he went to bed, bumped his head, and couldn't get up in the morning. Yeah. Uh, most people think it's about an unfortunate clumsy man, uh, but it's actually about a drunk. Raining and pouring refers uh, to uh, drinks being poured very liberally, like it's raining cocktails and shots. Oh. He gets so drunk and can't walk straight, bumps his head, and uh, the reason he can't get up, well, it's simple, uh, he's dead. Oh. Uh, oh. And that's not the only rhyme with a hidden meaning. Try looking up ring around the rosy or around the mulberry bush. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do that right now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Send me some highlights for yeah. have a minute. All right, number eight. It's less about the bag and more about the ad. These images are from the new Harley handbag collection, as in Harley Davidson. Check out the look. It's part apocalypse, part high fashion. Not sure how I feel about the helmets, but I do admire the choice. This is definitely a choice. Something to consider if you want to change things up a little bit here this week. And I've got more on my blog, and I'm modeling quite a few different uh, styles. And that's a heads up uh, with Polly Boy. All one word. Uh, look for it at 7 at medium central time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right before large time. So. Okay. All right, uh, number seven, if retirement is on your mind, we might have found the best place in Europe to spend your golden years. Yeah. Portugal, yep. a company dedicated to helping Americans retire abroad, analyze national population, life expectancy, cost of living, health care, and annual hours of sunshine of all the European countries. Portugal's low-cost living, sunshine, and gorgeous beaches earned the country the top spot. It's known for its wine industry, impressive golf courses, country is also relatively safe, ranking number six on the Global Peace Index Ooh. scale. Yeah. And you won't be alone. A high percentage of its population is over 65. Oh, if Portugal isn't your speed, Spain came in second, Italy came in third. Now we're mm. talking. Be nice. Beautiful. Number six, kids of the 60s, 70s, and 80s know this all too well. If you didn't have a ballerina in a music box, chances are your sister did. Oh, As yeah. the music played, the ballerina would slowly turn around in a little circle. But the yeah. ballerina in the music box dates back to the 20th century. At the time, the trend was for black lacquer jewelry boxes with various designs. At some point, someone added the dancing ballerina. Over time, the music boxes became smaller and were often painted white or pink. They were also mass produced in factories. If you still have one, you're lucky because oftentimes the ballerina fell off or the music yeah. stopped playing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She got tired of dancing. Yeah. yeah, not very popular anymore. Kids want stuff that's more high tech. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, number five. Do you have a certain side of the bed that you have to sleep on? People are outraged after a woman on TikTok said she and her husband don't have set sides. They switch every night. Oh, nice. Uh, commenters called it serial killer behavior. <laughs> people are just, what is wrong with people? Uh -huh. I mean, I, seriously, you can't say anything. Yeah. Uh, but a relationship expert thinks it's actually a very healthy practice. Sure. Uh, she says that they are freed from a kind of possessiveness about order that most of us have. Is it possible to hate both people? Yeah. On that? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Just people. Who cares? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> all right, number four. We've all heard the rule, no white after Labor Day. Uh, the fas fashion rule has actually been around since the 1880s. As more people became millionaires, it was difficult to tell the difference between old money families and those who just became rich. So the wives of the super rich ruled high society after the Civil War, and they came up with a few fashion rules to make sure that everyone knew that they were well off, and not wearing white outside the summer months was one of them, oh. leaving the color for weddings and resort wear. Uh, so basically, the rule is arbitrary and outdated, so you do you, boo. Except white shoes, they're actually never a good idea. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. I'll come back. Yeah. Yes. I work in yeah. Kolkmeyer wears them all the time, yeah. and it's like 
They're back, I think. Yeah, there's the white no bumps. Sure, I, yeah. I think they're back. Is I, that your litmus test for what's cool? The woman who's well, not watched a movie in 28 <laughs> years? <laughs> she's a lot younger and hipper than I yep. am. And it, I think those are those are back, I think. I don't Eleanor know. Roosevelt's a lot younger and hipper than you are. <laughs> well, I just right into a Roosevelt right story. Hey. You, can't get enough. you can't get enough. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt in at number three. He was known as an animal lover. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Except for the ones he shot. Yeah, you uh, still love him. <laughs> he had a number of exotic pets, ranging from bears to a one legged rooster, and his love for animals extended through his kids. His first daughter, Alice, had a pet garter snake. It was named Emily Spinach. When asked about the name choice in an interview, Alice responded that her snake was as green as spinach and as thin as her aunt Emily. Oh. Emily was known for outrageous behavior. She would always carry the snake with her around the White House and pull Emily spinach out at unexpected times. President Roosevelt once said, I can manage Emily or I can manage the United <laughs> States. I can't do both. <laughs> All right, number two, frustrations are growing over passport delays. Getting one can take months instead of weeks. But one company is offering a money-back guarantee if they don't get that to you in three days. Wow. CIBT visas initially serviced corporate or business clients, but in the wake of the nationwide passport delay, they are turning to leisure travelers. Fees huh. range from $200 to $1,000. That's to get your passport in three days. If it doesn't show up in three days, you get all your money back. I think a lot of that is just the ex expedited fee yeah because I tried doing that it's you got to pay for the passport and then that's like expedited yeah, fee yeah, yeah. Hmm. but three he days to say even I, with an expedited I'm still here yeah, yeah. <laughs> wowie uh, number one uh, it's in honor of uh, Paul's rant about car rental places uh, here is this gem from Seinfeld oh I'm sorry we have no midsize available at the moment I don't understand. I made a reservation. Do you have my reservation? Oh, yes, we do. Unfortunately, we ran out of cars. But the reservation keeps the car here. <laughs> That's why you have the reservation. I know why we have reservations. I don't think you do. <laughs> <laughs> if you did, I'd have a car. <laughs> so you know how to take the reservation. You just don't know how to hold the reservation. <laughs> And that's really the most important part of the reservation, the holding. Anybody can just take them. <laughs> Let me uh, speak with my supervisor. Uh, here we go. The supervisor. You know what she's saying over there? What? Hey, Marge, see those two people over there? They think I'm talking to you. So you pretend like you're talking to me. OK, now you start talking. Oh, you mean like this? So it looks like I'm saying something, but I'm not really saying anything at all? OK, now you say something else, and they won't yell at me, because they thought I was checking with you. Oh, great, I think. I think that's enough. See you later. <laughs> I'm sorry, my supervisor says there's nothing we can do. Yeah, it looked like you were in a real conversation over there. <laughs> but we do have a compact, if you would like that. Fine. All right. Well, we have a blue Ford Escort for you, Mr. Seinfeld. Would you like insurance? Yeah, you better give me the insurance, because I am going to beat the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the night of nine. <laughs> That's the night of nine. The nine of nine. There we go.